I am creating some ATCs or artist trading cards. Artist trading cards are a little piece of art that is two and a half inches by three and a half inches in size or the same format as a modern day playing card. It is something that was originated by a Swiss artist in 1997, but it is still alive and well today. And these miniature artworks are not only still a thing, but they're thriving in the creative communities. And you will find over at my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, we are trading these cards in a swap this month. I am utilizing for mine HVAC tape, alcohol ink, that wine cork, and I have cut two pieces of watercolor paper, two and a half inches by three and a half inches, and I have pulled some herbs out of my herb garden. And what I want to do with those herbs is display the veining of and the outline of that herb in the card. I was going to use this flower that I also pulled, but I decided it was too bulky for the orientation that I wanted. So I went back to the asparagus fern or the fern off of my out of the asparagus bed and some herbs. So I'm just orienting this fern so that I think it looks good. I'll pull that HVAC tape and this tape can be found at your hardware store in the air conditioning section that HVAC is heating, ventilating, air conditioning. I believe it is used to secure the seams in the ductwork of your cooling system or heating system in your home. Don't really know because I'm not an HVAC gal. So I want to cover this now. I've cut the tape to the size that I needed or to the height that I needed. The tape is only two inches in width and these cards are two and a half. So I'm going to have to piece together two pieces to cover the entire card. Okay, first piece down, and now let's get the second one laid down. And we'll trim off all of that excess. I don't know if you can hear that fly in the background. My husband just opened the door of my shop to tell me he was heading out to pick up some supplies he needed at the hardware store, and he let a fly in. And it is, I can hear it buzzing like crazy in here. Okay, now I have the asparagus fern coated in that paper. I want to get the sage and then we'll burnish the two with that cork. I'm laying the cork 
lengthwise and burnishing with it and then I stand it up on its end and burnish with the little round part as well. And I find that this does a pretty good job of burnishing. I will tell you that um, later on I pull my sanding block out and find that that sanding block does a lot better job. So just while I'm burnishing now, I'll, I'll tell you the sanding block does work a lot better. Um, now I want to color in the area where the herb is with that black magic marker and then I'll set that aside and allow it to dry. Now if you don't have a sanding block you can create one by getting some very fine grain sandpaper and wrapping it around a piece of wood or just utilizing it as the sandpaper itself. I have scored a line down the edge of this with my bone folder and I'm going back and putting some horizontal lines as well and on the asparagus fern I'm going to do that in a diagonal fashion. and then coloring in where I just made those scores. We'll go back over to the sage and color that sage in as well. And now while that marker is drying I'm going to go ahead and put down the alcohol ink and I've chosen a patina green as well as a lagoon blue and that's what I had in stock so those are why I chose those colors. I'm using my little hand blower to spread those colors around. You can use a straw and blow on it with a straw or just get close to it and blow on it with your mouth but I happen to have the hand blower so that's why I utilize that. The baby wipe is what I am using to remove some of that alcohol ink and some of that marker. And once again, I find that that sanding block does work incredibly well for that as well. And the reason I want to remove, obviously I want to remove that marker to display the veins, but I don't want that alcohol ink to be in a blob. You know, I want it to be kind of sparse, kind of a hint of color around the edge of that and not necessarily a big block of color around that herb if you will. Rounding off the edges with my crocodile, hitting it with that baby wipe once again. And I want to go around the outside edge with some black ink so that when you pick this piece up after I put the back on you're not seeing that white edge of watercolor paper. I wanted to outline the herb and I pulled out my graphite pens and I found that that tape does not accept that graphite so I will do that in a moment with the marker. And that works just fine. I just want to get some of that darkness around or a shadow effect around the outside edge of that. And then I'm going to go back around the outside edges with that marker as well. Since I have an out, I might as well shore up the outside edges and make sure there's none of that white card showing. I'm 
I was just going back and cleaning up the asparagus fern. Okay, I have those kind of complete and I want to create one. I do create four more and I create one for each herb that I pulled out kind of with the thought of the song in my head, the parsley, sage, the rosemary, and thyme. I did one for each of those, but I wanted to do it in an orientation that only used one piece of that tape and I didn't have to piece that tape together. So my thought process here is lay this down and then I can color the edge of that with black acrylic ink, which is what I'm going to do. Now I have the two inch piece of tape laid down over that piece of sage. I'll burnish that sage, hit it with the marker just like I did in the others. And burnish it with that wine cork first. Make sure that the tape is very secure and adhered everywhere possible. Coloring it in with a black marker. Now, one of the questions that you might have, and as I'm kind of going back over this and looking at what I've done and doing the voiceover, I'm thinking what will happen to this ATC card when that herb disintegrates underneath this tape? Or will the herb disintegrate underneath the tape? Will the tape preserve the herb? I can't answer that question because I do not know and I am going to move forward, use this as I have intended and I will have to ask the recipient of this card to let me know what happens in six months and I will certainly send a couple of other cards along with these just in case these um, do not stand the test of time. But for right now, I think they will. And I feel confident that they will. But once again, I haven't um, held on to these for a time frame that lets me know that that is 100% true. So you can see me now with the sanding block. And that is doing a much better job than, than the cork. It's not necessarily doing a better job. It's just doing a quicker job than, than the wine cork. So it, it does speed up the process quite a bit. So there, I have that ready. I'm going to round off the edges. Now get out some black acrylic paint and I will paint down that edge. Now this is very tedious, painting down the edge of this, trying to get right up next to that tape without going on top of the tape. Um, there has to be an easier way to do this, but I am going to go ahead and finish this, get this area all painted in with that black acrylic paint. And I think this makes a great little 
area where I can come back in with my stamps and stamp the name of the herb. Since I have pulled out all the different herbs, I think that might be kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one finished. And then I'm going to come back and take about four cards and just randomly put some paint down the side. And that way those are ready for the rest of the herbs. And I do not have to do that tedious um, down the side of the tape. So you can see I finished up some parsley here. I wanted to just show you some of the others that I have done. And once again, I did do the four herbs, uh, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And now I want to get out some of those block stamps and show you how I easily stamp those down in a straight line. These little alphabet stamps are, you know, I have a set that comes in these little thin um, wooden alphabet stamps. I just took them and made my word and taped them together with painter's tape. That way I have one block that has that complete word on it. I've used a silver metallic paint pen and just colored over the stamp and that worked incredibly well and really prevented any error or getting those not in line, not getting them proportioned correctly, etc. So on this time, my E did not completely, I did not get it um, coated well with the metallic paint pen. So I had to cover that with some black paint, let it dry and come back in and put that E down once again. But that was the only issue that I had. Now I want to make the back. So I've taken an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'm tearing it in half. I've pulled out my five by seven inch um, gel press, laying down some gray and just creating a background with the gray and the grunge that was already on my plate. So whatever was on my plate is going to be appearing in that as well. And I probably won't need this many, but it's while I have it out, it's probably better to do more than I need than not have enough. Now that I have that down, I'm laying a thin coat of black acrylic paint on the press. And I have all of these herbs that I had pulled out of my garden. I'm going to lay those down on the press. And I am going to use the ghost print, if you will, I think. That's probably what I will call it, but I'm not going to line up and register and pick up the background and then go back and pick up the veining. I'm going to pull out the paint or pull off the paint from around the outside edge of those herbs as much as I can. Then I'm going to pull the herbs off the plate and take my gray background and pick up what is left on the press for the back of my ATC card. I'll do one more. Just randomly laying the herbs down. There's a little rosemary, a couple of pieces of sage. There's a little piece of the parsley and thyme. Get that down. Take it off. Pick it up with the gray. And there. That's how that looks on the back. I'm just going to glue the rest of the cards. I did one first to test it out. Now I'm going to turn it over, glue a couple of cards onto this, and let pop up what does on the back of those cards. So I think that makes a pretty good back to that. And then what I've done on the two, we're sending two ATC cards 
in the swap, I chose two of the sage. I did, I'm sending the sage with the alcohol ink background and the sage in the black and silver format to my partner. And what I have done is taken another sheet of kind of lightly transparent paper and wrote the definition of the ATC. On the back of the ATC cards, you want your name, you want the date that it was created, and you want the um, definition of the items that you utilize. So on the back of mine, I put the HVAC tape, alcohol ink, black marker, um, just to kind of give a feel for what technique or what products was used in the creation of the card. Of course, she'll be able to come look at the video if she would like. And I just trim that up and going around the outside once again. And here are the finished cards. You have the ones with the alcohol ink up above. I believe I did three of those. And then I have the four in the black and silver only. And that is my version of the ATC card. And this is how the backs of each one of them look. And I'm going to put this heavy book on them and let them sit overnight to make sure they're good and, and straight. And I'll give you just a little close-up image of the finished pieces. So while we're finishing up here, I want to thank you for stopping by, sticking with me for the 18 minutes that you have stuck with me. And hopefully you will subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload additional content and pop on over to my Facebook group and, and join us and join in on a swap if you would like. And if you don't want to swap, that's fine. You can take a look at the post. Everybody posts what they receive on a monthly basis and it's just fun to see the things that are exchanged. So with that said, I shall say bye for now and I have put a playlist or a video here that I think you might enjoy. Bye.